Hi there, this is Kurt, Oscar November 7, Oscar Foxtrot Foxtrot. And today we are already at episode number 9 in the series From Zero to Hero with the Hermes Lite number 2 and the Tetis software. Today's subject is how to customize your Tetis. But before I do so, I would like to show you a couple of shortcuts on the front end that you are probably not aware of and that can be very, very useful when you're using the Tetis software. Uh, the first thing I already explained in one of the previous videos about the uh, multi-notch filter right here. So let me just enable the multi-notch filter and I'm going to add a new notch filter right here. Now if I zoom in first and I click on plus M and F, it's going to position the notch filter right in the middle of my receive bandwidth. If I delete it, okay, I can also, if I, for example, I want to have it right here. I don't want to have it in the middle. You can also just use a shortcut on your keyboard. Click on the control button, okay, and click, click on the right button of your mouse. And you will see that the uh, notch filter will be positioned wherever you have your mouse, okay. Another thing that I would like to uh, explain is you can change the uh, notch filter uh, bandwidth uh, just by using the mouse wheel. So if you have a mouse wheel, uh, you can just, uh, you know, increase or decrease the uh, bandwidth of your notch filter just by rolling the mouse wheel. Uh, so it's also very useful and handy. Let me just delete it and let's go to the next uh, subject. It also has to do with filtering. If you are used to use a Kenwood or a Yezu and uh, you're using if shift, uh, the uh, frequency uh, receive will be shifted from the frequency that you transmit on. It can be useful, for example, in this case scenario, I have a station that is uh, right here. It is uh, in my uh, uh, receive. So if I want to filter it out, I can use the shift key because just think about if shift, shift, shift key, okay? And then you use the uh, left uh, mouse button and you can reposition it uh, to your liking so you can filter out the QRM from the agent station okay if I want to reset it just go to reset right here and everything will be back turn uh, uh, turn back to normal okay so that's also an interesting little shortcut another thing I want to touch on is this um, if I just zoom out you will have the different spots if you have I will explain in a later video a little bit more about this but you have the different spots of the stations that you see right here. Uh, the ones that are on the lowest are the ones that have been on there for the longest. Okay, so the new stations, they will be on the top and then the ones that uh, were coming in as a spot before, they will be here. So the lower they are on the uh, uh, band scope here, uh, the longer this spot has been done. So it's an old spot here. You see, it just disappeared where my mouse was. And this is going to shift down in a few seconds. Uh, I think it's about every two or three minutes or four minutes, depending on uh, how long you keep your spots on your screen. You see, it just jumped from the top position to the second position. And there is a new one over here. So that is a new spot. If you want to know who actually spotted the station, you just click on the shift key. Okay, so when you click on the shift key, you will be able to see who made the spot of this, uh, the station that has been spotted. Okay, um, also, if you want, you can also just, uh, uh, let me just do that as well. Okay, so that's the most important thing. I'm not going to touch the other uh, subject that I wanted to talk about. But another thing is uh, automatic uh, memory storage. Uh, when you're cruising around on the frequency, Okay, and you will happen to be on the frequency. This is let's take two zero zero. Okay, uh, after five seconds, look here. Where is my mouse? You saw it. It just became a square. Okay, let me move it again to two zero five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and you see that this uh, uh, triangle became a square. This means that after five seconds, you've been on a particular frequency. It's going to store it. Uh, in a temporary storage uh, uh, of the uh, frequency list right here. So uh, this uh, arrow here will bring the uh, uh, memory of the different frequencies you've been before, and these arrows will be able to go around 
uh, the different frequencies you've been before and uh, shift around uh, and listen. So if you want, you can also store a specific frequency. So let's say I'm on 205. I can do a quick save, store it, and I can restore it again. So I can go back very quickly by restore. It's a, it's, it's a, for one frequency only, okay? If you want, you can also go to the band stack, okay? And uh, normally it comes like this, but when you click on options, you will be able to add a new entry. So for example, if I want to have 205 as an entry, I can click on add entry and it's going to make it a store in a permanent storage. So this one is a temporary storage. This is a permanent storage. Uh, this temporary storage, this list here, will go uh, uh, oh, will be uh, gone uh, when you uh, go out of Thetis, and when you start it up, it will be a blank uh, storage right here. But it will build up the list of different frequencies you've been to uh, uh, gradually when you're going and cruising around. Okay, uh, let's go over the uh, customization of Thetis. Uh, I already touched some words on the uh, TRX boxes. So if you go to setup and then you go to appearance and you go to multimeters, uh, you will be able to create different containers. I'm going to very quickly explain uh, how it works. Uh, if I add, you will see a back black box right here. And in the heading, if you go to the top, you will see a heading where you can actually also uh, uh, move this uh, little black box around. So um, here you have the different things you can feed these black fox boxes with. So if it's in green, it has to do with receive. If it's in red, it has to do with uh, TX. If it's in blue, uh, it uh, is uh, multifunctional. So uh, I will explain in a second. So for example, if I want to have a nice uh, cross, anon uh, cross meter, I can just... Uh, uh, click on cross meter, it just jumps over here and it has added it into the TRX box. You can use auto hate, and when you do auto hate, it will automatically uh, position uh, or resize the uh, box uh, to the uh, content. Okay, so if you want to resize it, you have to go in the lower right corner and uh, you, you can actually resize completely this uh, uh, box here. And as you can see, this box is currently within the Thetis window. You cannot go out of it. So if you want to go and make this floating outside of your uh, Thetis window, you just click on this little arrow here, and uh, it jumped on my other screen. But when I bring it back, you can see that I'm currently having this uh, uh, Thetis, uh, uh, sorry, this TRX box outside of my Thetis window. Uh, um, application here of my Titus Windows. Okay, so if I click again, it will jump back inside the uh, Titus window. Um, so um, if you uh, uh, plan to uh, use a lot of boxes, uh, so and you have a big screen, maybe it's easier to have it outside. But nowadays there is a new version uh, of uh, the uh, Titus uh, uh, software where you can also adjust quite a lot of things. I see that my uh, Titis is a little bit windows is a little bit too big. So I because I have the full screen here. Um, now let me just explain you something that is has uh, been changed uh, dramatically uh, over this version. It has to do with these uh, TRX boxes. Um, if uh, I click here on that little wheel here, uh, it will bring up my setup menu and it will go straight to the TRX box we're talking on, or we're talking about. If you click on highlight, it will highlight it. I find it a useful feature because you will be able to see uh, you're uh, working on which uh, TRX box, okay? And um, also one thing that I would like to point out is that you can have uh, these controls here that just pops up when you go over and hover uh, uh, over the uh, TRX box with the mouse, you can make them disappear. So no container control, it's right here. And if I now go over it, it will be disappeared. It will become very clear in a few seconds why it's useful to not have any container controls. Uh, if you quickly need these controls, uh, you don't need to go to setup, blah, 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 go to multimeters, search the one that you're looking for. No, you can have this shortcut. You can click on the shift key on your keyboard, 
have your mouse positioned outside of the TRX box and while you're holding the shift key it will eventually pop up again although it has been disabled okay so this is a very useful feature even if you need to resize it if I just go over it normally it won't work but if I push the, down the shift key uh, and I go over the uh, TRX box you can see that I can reposition and also resize again the TRX box so the shift key will be very useful uh, and I will explain in a second uh, why okay let me just go back I want to go straight only I hold down the shift key click on the wheel and I have it right here okay I'm going to remove this container in a few seconds I need to explain you why so there are a couple of new uh, legacy um, things that can be disabled so let me uh, explain you what happens here the legacy meters has to do with this guy so I will make this one disappear hide the band buttons it's right here okay if I hide them it will disappear this is the band mode uh, button grid it's disappeared a hide filter button grid this one disappeared okay and if I want I can now expand my waterfall and my uh, uh, screen here uh, to the right size which makes it quite useful I can also expand to the top but I'm not going to do it um, I am going to also hide my VFOs these are the ones over here VFO A, VFO B and I'm going to also hide this uh, uh, memory uh, whatever you can call it box here and they're all gone so what can you do uh, in this newest version you can go to multimeters again you can create a TRX box I'm going to enable the auto hate and you can now also add all these boxes separately on top or anywhere you want to have it so for example if I want to have my band buttons back I just go to band button here double click it and there they are uh, I can also reposition it okay this is way too big so I can change the columns okay there you go and I can also add a little text for example and uh, I've got it right here text overlay let me position it to the top and I could eventually say uh, band selection whatever you can uh, or you want to call it now be aware you can make uh, things disappear and come uh, back uh, in TRX uh, sorry in RX and TX I'm not doing that it's a little bit too cumbersome and I can also position this uh, here so let me just do that I can change the font so for example if I want to have uh, a uh, underline uh, or a bolt or whatever it's all possible so let me just do that I'll make it bolt and underline it okay and now I can also change the Y position okay and I can also change the X position so I can centralize it just put it in the middle I can click on the plus so in TX and RX it will be at the same position and from now on I have my separate band buttons now as I told you you can get rid of this uh, uh, taskbar here th th this is very useful because uh, if you do have these controls enabled you will uh, and you hover over them and they're quite thin you will not be able to see what's happening so disable them no container control here uh, I don't want to have borders and I prefer to highlight it because when I click on OK it the highlight will disappear but I can always reposition this by holding the shift key and going hover over it with my mouse so basically this is how you can change the entire uh, layout of your uh, uh, Thetis uh, uh, software uh, to your liking let me just uh, go one more time to uh, the uh, let me just do it that way um, let me go one more time add one more container okay I have it right here and I can do that for also for example the filter buttons I can do that for the tune step buttons so everything is possible and you have also something like web image can be interesting if you want to know how the propagation is going to be you could uh, do something like this 
uh, and it's going to give you the uh, solar flux information. Let me reposition it right in front of or in, inside your TT software. Easy, nice, and I like it. So I'm going to reposition it. And then now I can have more information on what's going to uh, be the uh, propagation uh, uh, with uh, the... Uh, let me see, I'm going to change it. I'm going to take this one here. Here, you have SFI. So you see the sun flux number, the sunspot numbers, A index, uh, K index. So you can uh, have this also, this information in real time on your uh, Thetis uh, front end. So this is uh, all about TRX boxes, how you can modify everything. I recommend to play around with it. It's very useful and uh, you can really personalize your... Uh, your Thetis. One thing I forgot to explain is also you have this arrow here, this here. This will jump from the um, left top corner to the top, to the right uh, uh, top corner, to the right, to the right bottom corner, etc. If you position this one here, it will stick to the right top corner, okay? So this means when I reposition or I resize my uh, uh, thetis, it's going to be always, let me just put it somewhere else. Let me put it right here. I want to have it glued, if I can call it that way, in this position. So if I just resize it, as you can see, it just stays where it is uh, in the window. So this is how you can personalize your uh, uh, thetis uh, front uh, end. Um, and uh, I, I hope it was useful. Um, also, did I forget something? Because I tried to keep the, uh, the videos as short as possible so you don't get bored. Please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments um, because uh, maybe I'm uh, going too fast or maybe I'm going too slow. Maybe you want to know something that has not been explained yet, but please let me know. I will be very happy to eventually... Uh, also give you some more explanation. One more thing. Yes, now I forgot this. If you are on a band and uh, you want to save the zoom, you can right click, right click right here. You see where is my mouse? Right click here. So if 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 you want this to be the way that uh, 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 is the zoom out, the maximum zoom out, you first have to right click. So you can zoom as you know here, okay? Zoom it out completely, position the uh, um, the band uh, view, and then you can save it by right-clicking here. And next time you are going to visualize this uh, band here on 20 meters, it will show you this um, uh, section of the, uh, 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 the band of uh, 20 meters. Okay, uh, there you are. I hope it was useful. 70 trees and uh, looking forward to get some uh, uh, feedback from you guys. ON7OFF signing off.